Hi, I'm Dan Ludis and co-founder of CMOTIVE Technologies. I'm also Chief Science Officer. This video is part of our Ask a Founder series. In this case, what we're here to talk about are electric machines, or more importantly, electric motors and generators. So what is an electromagnetic motor? This is the motor that you've used pretty much every day of your life. Copper coils on steel cores with permanent magnets. These use what's something called the Lorentz force that pushes on currents and wires. So magnets and coils and current. And that's an electromagnetic motor. An electrostatic motor, which is C-motive specialty, uses something called the Coulomb force. It is charges that are attracting and repelling each other. This is the force that holds your clothes together when you pull it out of the dryer versus the force in an electromagnetic machine, which holds something to a refrigerator, like a fridge magnet. So why don't C-motive machines use uh, electromagnetic forces? Well, it's because we're trying to do something that electromagnetic motors can't do, which is perform very well at low speeds and stall. So an electrostatic machine uses charge to create forces, which doesn't use the flow of current. And if we don't have the flow of continuous current, we don't have the conduction losses associated with an electromagnetic motor. We can also use this same force to make a machine that has fundamentally different materials. We can make a machine using electrostatic principles that is made entirely out of plastic, aluminum, or other composite materials where we don't have to rely on uh, volatile supply chains for say rare earth magnets or copper. Let's say you're a robot arm trying to hold something or a wind turbine spinning slowly or a conveyor belt. All of these applications need to be highly efficient cost-effective, and have a great degree of control. And so the electrostatic mechanism provides that through its materials and the fact that we don't need continuous current flow to make our torque. Thank you for watching.